Hello everyone. In this, we will be looking at an interview question on business rules, which was asked to one of my colleagues, and it is a pretty straightforward business rule. And I have seen it implemented in my past implementations for couple of clients. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardeep Singh, and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button. So this is the use case which was asked to him. During the interview, I converted this into a Jira story form. As a service now admin, I want to create a problem ticket as soon as a P1 incident is resolved, so that we can do root cause analysis of the P1 incident. So in your client environment, there might be cases when there is a P1 incident raised, and all the teams are working together to close that incident as soon as possible. And when that incident is resolved, we should create a new problem ticket to do the root cause analysis. so that we know why did this incident occur and we should prepare ourselves and put some guardrails so that this type of incident never happens again so this can be implemented in two ways using business rules and flow designer in this video we will be discussing about business rule and we will be creating a new asynchronous or before business rule so it's up to you if i would have been implementing this in my client environment i would be using async business rule but for this demo purpose i will be using before business rule and it will run after an incident is marked as resolved and in the business rule script we will create a problem ticket and attach to that incident so this is very important part how do we attach these two tickets so i will show that you in a second in service now we are now logged in in our service now instance i will go to the incident list and in the incident list you would see a problem column so this is out of the box column you don't have to create it and if you notice here this particular incident is related to this problem ticket if i open this problem ticket in a new tab and if i scroll down you would see this incident appears in the related list so that means this problem ticket is related to this incident so if you want to relate any incident to a problem ticket you just go into the incident list just update the problem ticket here and it would be updated in the related list Let's quickly test that also. I will copy this problem ticket and I will choose a random incident, maybe the one which is ending with zero five. I will paste the problem ticket here. I will save this, and as soon as it is saved, I will refresh this form, and one more incident should be attached to this ticket, and we can see double zero five is now attached to this problem ticket. I will go back to incidents here, and we will create a business rule now. I can click on any header. I will go to configure, and then I will click on business rule, and I will click on new. And after this, I have to give the name of this business rule. And if you notice here, the table name is automatically selected as incident. We will keep that as it is, and we will give the name as create problem for P1 incident. I will check the advanced check box. I will keep it as before and update. So before updating, and I will give the condition as state is resolved, and I will select here priority is one critical. I will save this business rule, and we will go ahead and write a script after this in the advanced tab. So I will click on advanced, and here I will type where gr equals to new. Client record. So remember, when you are implementing this in your client environment, don't use GR because it has been used by most of the developers. So choose something unique. I will choose the table name as problem, and then we have to copy few columns from the incident table into the problem ticket. So for example, if we would want to copy the configuration item, problem statement, and description, we will copy all these three. For that, I will type here GR dot CMDB. ci so this is the backend name of the configuration item column and in the incident table the name of configuration item is same so cmdb underscore ci after this i will use the short description if i go to problem ticket i will right click here you would see the backend name is short description for problem statement and for description it's description so the names are same as they are in the incident table so it's easier for us here so current dot short description and finally the third one gr dot description equals to current dot description one important thing here is to use gr dot initialize this is recommended by service now and what does it do is create a blank record here itself in this line number 4 to 
insert into the problem ticket so always try using gr dot initialize as a best practice of service now and now we will write gr dot insert and it will create a new problem ticket after the problem ticket is created we have to link the incident and problem tickets together for that i will use current dot problem id equals to gr dot sys id so current dot problem id is the column name of the problem in the incident table so that's why i'm using current which is the incident table problem id is the backend name of the problem column in the incident table and gr dot sys id is the sys id which was just created in line number 8 and using line number 10 we will be linking both incident and problem ticket here we don't have to use dot update statement because this is a before business rule and it will be automatically reflected in the current dot problem id in the incident table however if you are using async business rule you would have to write that update statement current dot update now we will go ahead and test this by creating a new incident record in the incident table i will click on new and please ensure that you are using priority one so i will change the impact and urgency so that it makes the priority as one for this particular incident i will give the caller as system admin so i'll just give all the mandatory fields so in the short description i will write this is problem creation demo i'll just correct the spellings here and i will give a similar description i can say this is a problem creation demo and i'll just append description at the last and i will give some configuration item randomly i will just go ahead and choose this apple macbook i will save this incident and now we will resolve this incident by selecting state as resolved and in the resolution information we can type anything and i will save this now as soon as this ticket would be saved a new problem ticket would be created to check that we will go to problem list so it will give me list of all the problems so if you see this is a ticket which was just created and the configuration item here which we selected as macbook so this is the one which was just created we can check the problem statement and the description they have been copied as well and if i scroll down at the bottom you would see the incident has also been linked to this problem ticket so this is the incident number ending with triple zero two and if i go here this is the incident triple zero two which is attached to this newly created problem i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new about business rules and this will definitely help you in your interview questions thanks for watching the video till the end and do remember to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button thank you